Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex from TechFusion and today I want to take this RTX 3080 right here, use it with a T-Rex miner and find out if it's better to use it with uh, well, a limited hash rate of around 70% for Ethereum or is it much better to just use the full potential of all graphics cards and mine 30% uh, Ethereum and 70% anything else like the T-Rex miner version 0.24 is actually allowing you to do nowadays. This being said guys, let's carry on in the video and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay guys, so I want to show you now, just jumping into the video, um, what you can expect using the T-Rex uh, version 0.24.2. So um, do keep in mind that the point of this T-Rex dual miner is to unlock 100% of your um, GPU. So you should be getting better profits than, than just mining Ethereum uh, with a cap on it for let's say 70% depending on how high you can get your OCs before the limiter kicks in. But let's put this to the test and see exactly what values you can arrive and how much money you can make using this dual miner. First of all, I just wanted to quickly tell you that these are my OCs, so these are the stable values that I have reached and uh, able to run the uh, dual miner. And uh, just to quickly show you here, the power limiter is set at 90, the temperature is uh, linked with the power limiter and the uh, core clock over here, it's uh, right now locked at a uh, very stable, I should say, uh, 1590, so around 1600 megahertz, as you can see here. And the memory clock is set all the way uh, to the right here at maximum plus 2000 megahertz on the memory clocks. The fan speed, uh, well, it, it works fine, uh, just around 55, 65 or higher, but uh, they stay stable uh, well below um, 85 degrees Celsius. So with these these things in mind, uh, let's go ahead and run uh, first of all uh, Ethereum and Ergo and I'll let it run for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, get back to you guys afterwards and you'll see all the results in the spreadsheet at the end of the video. Okay guys, so as you can see I have been running the miner, uh, this is the Ethereum plus Ergo once again for around 7 minutes and the overall uh, results are around 32 mega hashes for the Ethereum algorithm and for the um, Autolycos um, it's around 150 to 160 megahertz for a power draw from the GPU which is indicated by the um, hardware info over here. It sits at around 240 watts and the memory junction temperature is around 72 degrees to 82 degrees which is a maximum and the GPU hotspot which is uh, right around 64 to 65 uh, degrees Celsius. So all of these values you will uh, get to see at the end of the video in the spreadsheet and now I'm going to move over and uh, try Ethereum plus Ravencoin using my custom OC settings and um, yeah, let's close this down, open up the other one and I'll do just as before, let it run for around 5-10 to 10 minutes, get back to you guys with the values and then we'll move over to the standard settings which are recommended by the guys over at T-Rex see exactly uh, what values we can arrive at and then uh, again uh, we'll see all the values at the end of the video in the spreadsheet over there. Okay guys so as you can see I have been running the dual miner Ethereum plus Ravencoin here for around 7 minutes once again and the values that I have arrived at are around 35 mega hashes for Ethereum and around 30 to 33 mega hashes for the Kapow algorithm. All of this is happening with the OC values that I have mentioned before and uh, that you will find in the spreadsheet at the end of this video and the GPU memory junction temperature is sitting at the maximum 88 degrees because as you know Kapow is running a bit hotter and the GPU hotspot temperature is sitting at around 67.5 uh, degrees Celsius. All in all the power draw it's a bit higher as well, it's uh, steadily um, sitting at around 280 and uh, 290, just short of 290 watts. So all of this uh, taken into account you'll find all these different values in the spreadsheet and the end of the video. So now we can move over and um, we can uh, input here the uh, settings that T-Rex miner guys want you to use and that uh, they have tested for with the RTX 3080 Ti actually so we can apply those settings for the RTX 3080 and see if they make any sense and again you'll see all of these values at the end of the video. So if you open up the notepad here which is marked LHR you can find some values here that are introduced by the guys over at T-Rex. Um, so you can see, for instance, if you're planning to mine Ethereum and Ravencoin, just as we did, there is no 3080 values here, but there are some values for the 3080 Ti, and they roughly estimate you can get out of them uh, some 35 mega hashes for Ethereum and 29 for Ravencoin. 
Uh, we're actually getting more for Ravencoin out of the 3080s, so uh, let's try and apply these uh, overclocks here as they recommend and see exactly what's happening for the Ethereum with Ravencoin first and then we'll move over to Ethereum plus Ergo. So just to apply the settings here, as you can see, we have uh, firstly a memory of 1000. So we're going to input that plus 1000 here on the memory clock. And we have a core clock set at zero. So uh, there will be no overclocking on the core clock and a power limiter set at 82. So let's set it at 82. Sorry, 82. There we go. And the core clock set at zero. Okay, so there's no offset on the memory clocks. So we'll hit apply. And then we can go ahead and minimize this and we can open up the um, Ethereum Duo Miner once again. I'll let it run for around 5 to 10 minutes as before and we see the values uh, which, uh, which we arrive at. Okay guys, so I have been running the software for about 10 minutes now. This is uh, once again the Dual Miner Ethereum plus Ravencoin using the standard values provided by T-Rex. Um, the reason why I've left it run for a bit more, it's because I'm seeing values all over the place. So I've seen uh, the Ethereum uh, mining go as low as 25 to as high as 33, and the Ravencoin for as low as 28 to as high as 34. And I think the, uh, the problem being that the uh, boost clock, as you can see here, is varying a lot between uh, almost 1700 megahertz to as low as 950, I've seen it. So this uh, variation of boost clock of course, it will give you a variation into the mining capabilities. So anyway, overall, I'll take the averages out of these numbers and you'll see them in the spreadsheet at the end of the video. So now, maintaining the same settings as before, which are the recommended ones from T-Rex, I'll open up Ethereum plus Ergo, let this run for about 10 minutes. I am expecting to see the same uh, variation on the core clock because it's not locked. And then uh, we'll take the values, the average values of these, and then move it over and put it in the spreadsheet. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, over there and uh, see exactly what, what, mon what amount of money you can get out of these uh, cards. Okay guys, so we have been running the miner for about 8 minutes now and the values that we have arrived at, the Ethereum is varying anywhere between 28 to 32 mega hashes and the auto -like algorithm it's around 150 to 160 and the overall power um, uh, draw from the GPU is sitting at around 260 with dips and highs as well. And the GPU memory junction is sitting at around a maximum of 76 as, uh, as I've seen it. And the GPU hotspot is at 60, uh, 67. Um, well, it even hit uh, 82 here for a bit. But uh, all of this comes down to the variation of the boost clock. As you can see here, this is uh, varying tremendously between uh, 1900 MHz to around 1400. I've seen it um, go as low as that. So uh, all of this being said, let's move over to the spreadsheet now where I've input all the values. Uh, I went over to what to mine and using what to mine I've determined the exact profitability for all of these scenarios so that you have everything uh, all the information available to you and uh, as well in there I'll put in the overclock settings that I'm using so feel free to adjust your overclock settings for your uh, individual cards and uh, maybe get back to us in the comments down below and tell us uh, what performance you are able to achieve out of your 3080s. Okay guys, so these are the values and the tables that I have managed to put together. These are the custom OC values that I have put in here. I'm not reaching any LHR using these values. Uh, so um, these are running quite stably without uh, hitting the limiter. Uh, first going over Ethereum plus Ergo, you can see all the data in here. Do keep in mind one thing that I want to point out is that the amount of profit per month does not take into account the electricity cost. So I did not put this into the table because uh, the prices vary a lot from region to region and depending on the contracts that you have for your electricity supplies. So um, yeah, just to make your own due diligence and calculations when it comes to what is the actual profit for you depending on the cost of your electricity in the area. All these values, uh, you can uh, pause the screen over here and you can uh, just use these settings. Uh, they do not uh, in any way guarantee that you're going to achieve the same results even if the price remains the same. But this uh, could uh, be a very good uh, jump off point for yourself to try your own custom OCs depending on what type of manufacturer you have the board from. I am using this board which comes from Gainward, this is the Phoenix model. Uh, I'm quite happy with uh, what it's capable of doing because it's sustaining quite good temperatures for the memory clock uh, and for the overall GPU hotspot. Uh, the most I've seen on the memories were above uh, just around 88 degrees Celsius using these customs OC. 
which I'm happy with because the, the uh, modules themselves are rated to go up to 105 degrees Celsius, so I'm pretty happy with around 88C. Um, depending on your preferences, of course, if you're happy or unhappy or you can achieve some of these overclocks, uh, that's why I'm telling you, you, you can use this to just uh, jump off point uh, as a jump off point for you to try your own custom settings and see exactly what you arrive at. What I would kindly ask you guys is to leave down in the box below um, what values you have arrived at and what uh, earnings overall and what values you have achieved using those values as uh, most of the people watching these videos will be very interested to see with uh, different values what they can achieve uh, either because they don't have the 3080 in hand right now because maybe they're waiting for it to be shipped to their house so they can uh, implement it into their miners or maybe for some other reasons, uh, maybe considering some 3080s to start their mining operations. So we will, it would be good for everybody to see the values, not just my values, but your inputs as well. So I would kindly ask you guys to leave a feedback down in the box below. All right, guys, thank you very much for sticking till the end of the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It will greatly help us out with the YouTube algorithm nowadays. And don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below as everybody else would like to see what OC settings you used to, uh, well, gain that sweet cash. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.